So you got all your preps in order, you got your food, your water, your weapons, whatever stockpiled, but have you thought about doing laundry when there is no power? Well, today I've got a solution for you here. This is the Wonder Wash by Laundry Alternative, and it is the perfect solution for off-grid laundry. And we're going to check it out when we come back. All right, everybody, welcome back. Now, many years ago, I had one of these, and it was an older model. I think I bought it pre all the, the Y2K hype, and it didn't have all the upgrades that this one has, and it was a little harder to use. Basically, this operates by sticking your laundry in, sticking some detergent in and some hot water, not boiling, and sealing up the top and cranking it. It creates a pressure inside, and it will suck the dirt out of your laundry, and it works very, very well. It sounds weird, but it works very, very well. Anyway, I had that one for many years. I moved here. It sat on a shelf, and I used it maybe twice. And then one day, it just cracked from being out in the heat and the sun. The bottom here cracked. And it didn't have all of the um, features that this one has. So, didn't really get another one. I have one that can run on solar. It's a little electric one. And I figured, well, you know, I always have that one. I don't really need another one. But I saw this at a good price, and I figured, you know what, I'm going to pick up another one because these things are really, really cool and very, very easy to use. Now, the major improvements to this one are the one-click lid, the no-leak drain spout on the bottom, the much stronger axle in the middle here, this, this thing that runs on the sides there, and it's also a whole lot easier to use. So let me show you the first part here. Now, with the old one, you had a screw top. You would, you would put this on here, and you notice how this goes up and down when I open that. Um, you had a screw on here, and you'd screw this top down and down and down, and it took a long time to get it down there. With this one, you simply slot it on, put it in the correct place, feel where you're going. Okay, there you are, and you're done. It's sealed. No need to sit there and screw and screw. And when you're finished with the laundry, there will be a lot of suction in there, you just pop that open and pull it off. So, that's definitely an improvement. Uh, here are the, the metal axle that goes across here. So these pieces, one of the problems I had, in, and the cotter pins are nice too. One of the problems I had with it was heavier loads, it would slip out of this side. Well, with this pin and that pin in there, it's not going anywhere. It's in there pretty good. The last improvement is this drain pipe. Oh, man, I'll tell you. I used to drain this thing, you know, when I'd use it. Sometimes we'd use it when we lived in California in our apartment. And um, we'd use it just to test it. And I'll tell you, getting the water out was a pain in the neck. You'd have to dump it like this, and then there'd always be water that gets stuck at the bottom, and it would never fully come out, and you'd take your clothes out, and they were dripping wet. Now, they're still going to be wet when you take them out of here, but nowhere near as bad. It works kind of like this. Let me turn it sideways. Now, when you're doing this, you'll do it through here, through that middle area. But we're going to do it here for, for you guys to see. You'll notice inside here is a tube, inside the tube. That tube is going to push the spring-loaded back here, the spring-loaded closure back, and it will let it drain. So you're going to put it on like this, and I always have to find the right place. There we go. And that water will drain out so much easier. And you can let it drain for a while. Like if you're not in a rush and you've got a bunch of laundry in there, you can put this in here and let it drain out for a while. And this is why I say you're going to be doing it through here, because you'll have a much better flat surface to drain everything out. So they give you directions on how to use this. Um, I always found that if I'm using a full load, I filled it up to the fill line here. But they give you a bunch of directions on how to use this. I'll show you really quick. They also give you directions on how to put it together. The reason I didn't show that is because it's mindlessly simple. You're going to slide these pieces into these side braces. It's like a little key mod type thing where you put it in there and slide it up. You do it three times on each side, connect it to this, you're good to go. Real simple to do. And you put this in the middle, you know, you push that out a little bit, put it in the middle, put the cotter pins in, you're done. So it's not any kind of difficult thing to put together. They do give you directions. I'll show you them here quickly. If you're doing a, ha a quarter load, a half load, a three quarter load, or a full load, on how much you're going to use for water, how much detergent you're going to use. The most detergent you're ever going to use here is four tablespoons, and that's for a full load, just six quarts of water. What we're doing today is about a, a half load, so I'm going to use a, about 2.2 pounds. I'm going to use three quarts of water it's just, and two tablespoons of uh, detergent. So what I'm going to do is I've got some old, dirty clothing here, and I'm just going to toss it in there. I have a really dirty old shirt. That's my, my out here doing work shirt. And I have an old sweatshirt. 
And I'd say that's about two pounds, close enough. And I'm going to get some hot water. Now remember, you're going to want to use hot water in this, not boiling water. You don't want to ruin the plastic. Hot water from your tap is more than adequate. So I'm going to get some hot water. I'm going to bring it in a bucket. I'm going to measure it out. We need three quarts. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I measured out three quarts of water. It's in this white bucket here. Um, it's fairly warm. It's just hot tap water, basically. But you don't want to use boiling on it. So we're going to do two tablespoons of detergent. That's one. And you really don't want to go overboard with the detergent because you'll get a real mess. It'll never, ever come out. And that's two. And a little bit will go very, very far in this. It works incredibly well. You'll see now, both of those were washed when I put them away. I just want you to know that. Both of those shirts were washed before I hung them up. So we're going to see how much dirt this can extract after washing. Now, those are these are my knock-around dirty shirts, so I wouldn't be surprised if it pulls out a lot. But both of them were washed before they were put up. So we're just going to do this as a test to see how dirty it can get, how clean it can get dirty stuff. Now, I'm going to be real careful here and pour in the water. I pre-measured this. The nice part is you can hold it straight and upright while doing this because it will have a tendency to fall backwards or forwards, depending. There you go. We're also going to use this as the drain bucket later, so I'm going to put this down on the floor here. Now, here's your top. You're going to pop up that top. We're going to find our, our slots. We're going to turn and lock it down. Now, for this laundry, it says to do it for 1.25 minutes. So, I'm going to show you how I do it. And by the way, this has suction cups on the bottom for your uh, All right, so I'm going to spin this for 1.25 minutes. And I'll bring you back. Show you what the water looks like. And then we'll rinse it out with some warm water afterwards. Now, this does have suction cups on the bottom. You'll notice that it's kind of jumping all over because I'm on plastic. This will suck to the bottom. You see the suction cups there? So give me a few minutes here to finish this load out, and I will bring you back and show you what it looks like. So I'm going here. I'm almost done. One of the things I wanted to tell you about this is if you have gentle wash clothing, you can use this for that. You can use this just in regular times as well for uh, gentle clothing. It really is a little bit gentler on your clothing, and, you know, during a grid-down scenario, that might be important. You don't want to be tearing up your clothing with some kind of harsh washing method. It's also built to last. It's really, really well made. You know, I noticed the thickness of everything. That was one of my complaints with my old one, was these things were so thin on the side. They always felt like they were going to crack. This one is really, really nice. It's got these things that go in here and hold that in place so there's no jumping out, you know, in the little key, key lock areas there. Now, what I've done for about a minute and a half is I've gone back and forth, back and forth a little bit. Nothing too major. Um... All in all, I think it's ready to go. I'm going to pop the top, and I'm going to let you look inside real quick. Let's see how hard this is to pop. Wow, that makes it so much easier. <laughs> I remember having to unscrew and unscrew and unscrew. Wow. Yeah, that's really murky water. I don't know if you can see in there. I'm going to move you closer. You can see how dark, dark that water is. Now, this stuff was washed in a washing machine before I used this. Okay. So, let me put you back straight there. Next up is we're going to drain the water, and uh, I'll move the camera down so you can see me doing that, see it actually happen. Now, I might spill a little bit here, but I'm going to show you how this works. <laughs> I'm doing it at an odd angle. There we go. I did spill a little on my rug. I'm just going to let that drain out now, and I'll show you what the water looks like. That's what's amazing me about this, is it really does suck the dirt out with the pressure that it builds up in there. So you will get your clothes a lot cleaner than you'd think. Now, we are going to run a rinse cycle through this, and I will show you what the water looks like after the rinse cycle, and uh, we'll load it up. All I'm really going to do is just run a rinse cycle. Now, I'm going to wring out the stuff inside the, uh, inside the bowl, and uh, we'll get bring you back when we're running the rinse cycle after I wring out the clothing, and we'll see what, how it comes out. All right, so before we run the rinse cycle, I just want to show you what that water looks like. Now, that was supposedly clean clothing. This thing really does a good job of sucking out the dirt. Let me load up the rinse cycle water, and I'll bring you back. All right, so I got everything drained. I got my laundry back in there. This time we're going to use cold water, and I'm going to move it for about a minute, spin it around a little bit, and uh, see how that works. And once that's done, whoops, once that's done, I will bring you back and let you see what drains out of here. Okay. I'm a mess. <laughs> Anyway, 
Once that's done, I'll bring you back and let you see how the water looks when it's all clear and uh, after the second rinse. All right, spun it for about a minute. We're going to put this back on. And... So I don't flood my floor. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to pop the top too. Get the rest of the water out of there. See how much pressure and suction is in that. And out comes the water. Now I'm going to show you the water as soon as it drains. But all in all, i got to say I'm really impressed. The stuff smells good even when I took it out to uh, put it back into some clean water. Definitely smells good. Definitely smells washed. I'm going to need to look at the water here as it's pouring. That's its first rinse. If you want to rinse it a little more, you could. But really, that's pretty darn good. So I'm pretty pleased with it, all in all. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my mess here. I'm going to show you the clothing after it's done and drying. And uh, I'll give you more information on this and about how much it costs and where you can pick one up. All right, all drained out, ready to be put away. Uh, I will show you the clothing really quick, although it's hard to tell with wet clothing, but trust me, the stuff is a lot, a lot cleaner than it was. <laughs> and it smells clean, too. And here's the shirt. This is what happens in Nevada when you wear a shirt too long. I don't know if you can see the discoloration. <laughs> it kind of discolors on one side. Uh, anyway, definitely came out nice and clean. And these have been washed. That's what got me about all the dirt that was still in them. They had been put through the washing machine and put away. And I figured, well, I don't really have any dirty clothes right now, so I'll just toss the first two things that were in my closet. And that's what came out. So it's definitely a good alternative. You know, you think about situations like uh, a disaster or power outage or hurricane, since we're now moving into hurricane season. Um, that could knock out power for weeks at a time. And you're going to need to do some laundry. Also, if you want to live off-grid, if you have a bug-out location, if you're an RVer, this is awesome. It's just so easy to use. And um, while it looked kind of messy in here with me spilling water everywhere, you generally use this on a kitchen sink with that draining right into your sink below. Really simple to use. There's no motor, no internal moving parts, so you got a nice long lifespan with it. You don't have to worry about it. It will hold up to five pounds of laundry, and at five pounds, I will get my, my cheat sheet over here. At five pounds, you will do it for two minutes using a six quarts of water. And they do give you a, a thing on how to build it as well. This is the beginning of the instructions. But it's so, it's almost intuitive. I mean, you can put this thing together in five minutes. So it's definitely got some improvements. One thing I was concerned about is the integrity of this down here. Now, this seemed to hold up very, very well. At first, it was leaking, dripping. That's because I didn't, I put this in and I didn't snap it back out. So the valve in here wasn't all the way forward. Um, and then my camera battery died, so I had to go back and edit it. But uh, it was dripping out a little bit. Not bad, but just a little. Once I put this back in and really pulled it off quickly, it snapped right back into place. So it's new. You know, it might have had a little bit of a pl plastic flashing there or something. But after that, it did not do it again. So definitely a cool item. Definitely an easy-to-use item. It's by The Laundry Alternative. That's the name of the company. It's called The Wonder Wash. And they sell for, I'm going to let it just kind of rest there, $58. So for $58, bucks, you got permanent laundry off-grid for pretty much ever. You don't really have to worry about it. Now, as far as when you take the laundry out, you are going to have to wring it out. It's still going to be pretty wet. You probably could slop it around some more once you drain the water and get a little bit more water out, but it's just going to absorb that water right back. So my suggestion is take it out, wring it out, put it out in the sun, let the sun dry it for free. All in all, a really cool item. I'm really glad to have one of these again, even though I have a, uh, a miniature, oh, I don't know, about, about yay tall washing machine that'll do five pounds. Um, you know, it's, it's got to run off power, and if my solar goes down, if I don't have any power, if there's some kind of EMP situation where everything is fried, at least I have a way to wash my laundry. And keeping clean after a disaster, especially a flood or a hurricane or something, very, very important for your own sanitation, to keep your clothing clean. You don't want all that crud and mud and junk on you and uh, getting into a cut or somewhere where your, your skin is open and you have a cut and an infection, and then next thing you know, you got a bad infection. So it's definitely a cool little item. Like I said, it runs $58, it weighs 5 pounds, its size is 16 by 12 by 12, so 16 by 12 by 12, so all in all, not a bad item, it is a little top heavy when you put the top on it, <laughs> but definitely a cool little thing, you know, I'm going to be uh, storing this in here like I did my last one, and I'm really glad to have another one, I really kind of missed having it. Anyway folks, I will put a link down below where you can pick this item up, 
Um, again, they're 58 bucks. I'll put the link directly to my um, store. And I will put a link to my store as well. There, that way it'll stay in one place. I will put a link to my store as well, so you can check it out there. Um, I think it's a really good idea. I think it's a nice alternative. And also, too, you know, even if you just have a few things to wash, you can save a lot of money doing this in your kitchen sink rather than doing it in your washing machine and running a whole load for maybe two or three outfits. Definitely a good alternative. Uh, like I said, the, lo the link will be down below for this. It will also be down below for my Amazon store, my affiliate store. Don't forget to check out that store if you want to see everything that I review, most of what I review, I put in that store. Um, if you can't find anything in there or nothing that you like, just click the link and shop as you normally would. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below if you're interested in getting started in some freeze-dried foods. You can go to iridium242.thrivelife.com. That link will be down below as well. There's nothing to join. You can just buy some stuff and see if you like Thrive. If you don't, you don't have to buy it again. There's nothing to join if you don't want to join. If you do, there are perks for consultants that join up. Don't forget to check out our Food for Patriots link as well. That's preparewithiridium.com. Also offering you some really good freeze-dried food in kits for two to four weeks. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.